Hey guys, welcome back to my Spurs, my GM, and right away we are signing free agent Boris Diaw to show some love to the actual 2014 NBA champions, San Antonio Spurs. Now this is partially a signing because of Steven Jackson and Jared Selinger's morale with the team, but don't worry, don't worry, it gets fixed. This has been a recurring problem, but I finally fix it in my next episode. To start off, I was simulating through days and games to get to the rematch of the NBA Finals between the Spurs and the Heat once again. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of seeing this rematch, but it's definitely a great feeling knowing that we won the NBA championship in my my GM season and also in the actual NBA season. But since I normally pick up phone calls from other teams to see what trades offer they have, I accidentally pulled the trigger to trade Monte Ginobili to the Memphis Grizzlies for Courtney Lee and Quincy Pondexter. Right there, my heart stopped, turned off my Xbox, waited a few seconds, <laughs> turned it back on to see if everything was okay and if the trade didn't go through. And luckily enough, when I opened up my MyGM series, oh, a breath of fresh air knowing that I didn't actually trade Mono Ginobili away. So that, that was a big scare for me. Anyways, on to the gameplay between the Miami Heat and the San Antonio Spurs. That's LeBron talking to Kawhi? Must have been saying, why did you guard me so hard in the NBA Finals? Now, instead of everybody talking about the Spurs winning the championship, they're talking about some baseball player that died and what the next step for the Miami Heat. I don't get it. Like, I mean, I guess that's what was to be expected, that no one was going to be talking about the Spurs winning the championship for more than a day. Why the NBA Finals MVP? I know I'm a little late because I had some videos stored up, so I don't want to post out of order. The youngest MVP, Finals MVP since Tim Duncan. And the only Finals MVP along with Chauncey Billups to be named a Finals MVP before being an All-Star. It's pretty good company in my opinion. Only greatness awaits even more for Kawhi after Tim and Manu retire. And maybe even Danny Green can step it up a little bit more too. What I noticed in the finals, they showed it even on um, ABC, that the difference in guarding LeBron James this year as in last year, that's, that's an amazing improvement as Kawhi gets the open fast break slam here. I honestly believe instead of the Miami Heat two-peating, it'd be the Spurs two-peating. <laughs> they, they honestly would have swept them this season too. They choked, missing four valuable free throws that would have put them over the top. And last season, it was just, they choked again, game six. So they could have honestly had two championships back to back and it would have ended the debate of only winning every other year instead of winning back-to-back -back titles that would have been great to see but Kawhi obviously wasn't the best he's much improved this season and it shows considering he did get finals MVP he's been hitting a lot more open shots because the first two years he was missing all those shots um, all those excellent releases all the times me complaining it has happened a lot less this season and that's just the overall ratings that keep going up and i like that as cousins oh my goodness odin blocking odin just blocked cousins i don't think i want to live in a world where that's a possibility danny green open for three though if only he caught it a little bit sooner ah no good boris dl back on the Spurs team I said it in the beginning I believe we signed him for a minimum and it was a good signing you know get another Spurs back with the family it's great uh, Steven Jackson on the other hand not so happy we just took away all of his minutes because he will be traded before the trade deadline and I don't know if it's it might be next episode I always keep saying I'm gonna trade I'm gonna trade next episode next episode never do <laughs> but for sure for sure next episode or whenever the trade deadline happens which might be next episode so yeah <laughs> let's see boris 
the flashy passer. It's nice to have him back on the team. I never really gave him a chance in season one because we traded him away to Orlando, I believe. And I think he's just been sitting in free agency waiting for a team to pick him up. And you know what? We picked him up. Spurs faithful. Dwayne Wade. Man. <laughs> just not getting it done for the Heat anymore. And Leonard, on the other hand, he's getting it done for the Spurs. He's just improved overall, mid-range and outside. It's nice to see those accurate green excellent releases actually going down for once. They haven't been messing with me for a while now, so that's good. That's good. Let's see. Where's Kawhi? I don't see him, but oh, yeah. That's the one time Icon Pass has failed me, and we're not going to get this chase down. It's unfortunate. Parker, open for three. This is good basketball right here. I actually saw of the finals when the Spurs won a championship. Yes, there's obviously bandwagon fans, and yes, there is salty heat fans saying oh look at this picture of all the spurs bandwagons and it's like a picture of an indian school bus with a photoshopped of 20 million people in there yeah uh that, that's that's always fun to watch even though if the spurs didn't win last year um it was the opposite way around i don't know why anybody would want to make fun of the spurs though how would you honestly dislike the spurs if there's any spurs haters out there i stumble across this video could you please Tell me why you hate the Spurs. Because I saw on Twitter, some people, I don't know if they were just in the moment of, uh, you know, the Heat losing. They were saying how bad the Spurs suck and how big the Spurs bandwagon is. You're a Miami Heat fan, dude. There's nothing more bigger than a bandwagon than that team. So, I'd really like to know what went through your mind right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, Tony Parker. What was that flashy pass right there at the Sullinger? That's what I like to see. Oh my goodness, Kawhi. Was that three defenders trying to block that? No Kia Slam Cam? That's the perfect opportunity for his Kia Slam Cam. Come on, 2K. I would just do an instant replay, but I, I find that a little bit trashy. I don't know. That seems like something uh, hype beast do, and yeah, I get hyped for certain plays, but uh, I don't really want to rewatch them unless they make me rewatch them. You know, I jump too early. Oh my goodness, midair collisions here. Oh my goodness, midair tips here. Block Bosch, get him out of here. There we go. Corey Joseph to Patty Mills to Danny Green in the corner for three. Here we go. It's automatic. Danny Green, a part of the next big three with the Spurs. Ooh, Mario Chalmers, what are you doing? You're irrelevant in the fourth quarter and apparently in last season's finals, the 2014 finals. Ooh, get that out of here, Dwayne Wade. Ooh. Dwayne Wade's trying to shoot threes. That's what happens when you don't... <laughs> When you don't try to improve your game and think that you'll be able to run to the basket and draw contact every time. Look at Dwayne Wade. Look at him trying to draw contact. Okay. Okay, I see you, Dwayne Wade. We still got this game in the bag. You just got to hold on to the ball. Ginobili. No. Nope. No, nope, that was a foul. Ginobili. Charging foul. Mono Ginobili. Dwayne Wade. What are you doing? Mario Chalmers holding the ball. Dwayne Wade, what are you doing? Like, did they give up? I think they gave up. No, they're still shooting threes. Two seconds left. Just pass the ball out. Pass it. They're not going to foul us. And there we go. Beating the Heat by one point. That's the closest game. Kawhi Leonard, 17 points. He got two early rebounds and then... One steal, six for seven shooting. Tony Parker, five for seven. Our guys were looking good here. Tony Parker, 10 assists, another double-double. Everyone got a piece of the ball. And LeBron James, eight point. And Mario Chalmers. Mario Chalmers, 22 points. Are you kidding me? He stepped it up. 
But unfortunately, they still lost. Unfortunately for us, we won. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.